All right, what's going on, guys? Once again, it's Horror God here with you. And whew, I'm still recovering from that reaction from the new It trailer. It looks so good. But it's a good treat for you guys. Not only do we have the It trailer with my reaction, but look what came in the mail. March's Horror Block. And on time, so you know how these videos go. Time to open her up. Alright, well, we already know how, where this is leading to. Time to open our little horror box and see what goodies are in store. Shirt last, as always. Alright, what do we have here? Looks like something called from Wax Off Design. Um, just says, your luck just ran out. Not sure. I would have said a leprechaun thing, but I've never really seen something like that. But it's still unique. Maybe I'll find out in the horror block. Little brochure what it is. Oh, this is awesome. Right here we have bloody looking socks. And of course, it's Ash vs. Evil Dead socks. Need a new pair of socks, but these, I would say, groovy. And we, of course, have the DVD. Let's see. And this one is the cow. I have not seen this, so... I already checked out the other ones I got from Hard Block, and they were very good. So, again, take a quick look at that. Maybe I'll be tonight's watch. Next up. Up. As you know, last month we had Penny Dreadful. And it must be a big thing because we had another Penny Dreadful right here. This very nice travel mug. Which is great because I needed a new coffee mug. And then you get to see Josh Hartnett. I really don't know too much about the show. But people keep telling me to check it out. So it's on the bucket list for Horror God. It came. Everyone knows I get the... Row Morgue magazines, but there was one specifically I was looking for. It's called Shark Movie Mania. As you know, who's on the front? Jaws. And it looks like mostly Jaws, but most likely they'll probably be talking about Sharknado and all the other shark movies that came out throughout the years. Definitely worth checking out. If you, You'll probably find this at any Barnes & Noble, so go pick up a copy. I don't have to. Right. Oh, this must be presented by Nerd Block. It's a comic. That's a first for Harp. Well, since I have it, it's called Vamp Vampirella. Paul Cornell and Jimmy Broxson. It's a neat looking comic, too. Check that out. Um, never heard of this, but this is number zero. I don't know too much about it, but I love comics, so best believe I'll be checking that out. Oh, and this is just to see what we got. I'll do that next. And before we know it, it's time to reveal the shirt. Oh, that's awesome. Kind of looks like, uh, reminds me of Wicker Man a little bit. It's like a little pyramid. And I don't know, let me see. I was going to say kind of reminds me of Evil Dead with Ash. Judging by the way he looks, but he doesn't have the chainsaw for a hand. I'm not sure. I still think it's cool. It looks like leather faces up there. From the looks of it. Let's take a look. This right here. Find out what some of these things were. Oh yeah, it was a leprechaun pen. I knew it. I knew it was. It's Monster Totem Poles T-shirt. See, I'm not really sure what that was, but now I know. Okay, yeah, see, we would have gotten one of four DVDs in that. I got The Canal, but there was Starry Eyes, which I wish we got, because that was a great movie. It's on Netflix. The Stranger by Eli Roth, which I thought was in Poker Night. 
So, any idea what's going to be in the next one? Nope. Let's see. Guess not. And that's it for March. Alright, well, that about does it for the March Horror Block. Nerd Block did pretty good. I have to say the last two months were really good. This month was still pretty good. I'll have to check out Penny Dreadful and everything, but... We'll see what April has to offer. Maybe when I get something twice as better. Horror Block always seems to twist and turn. Never wants to give you any hints, so I like that. But, what'd you guys think of this one? What'd you guys think of this unboxing? Or the March Horror Block in general? Leave it in the comment box below. And also, like I said, I'll have my social media in the description bar, which you should follow. It has my Twitter and my Instagram. And like I've said previously, I do horror recommendations, any topics, reviews, anything you want me to discuss. Just send me a tweet. Send me a DM on Instagram. Let me know. And I should look more into it. But till next time, you guys, like, comment, subscribe. You stay dead.